Tottenham Hotspur Football Club are issuing refunds for the five remaining Premier League games at home. Serge Aurier defends a third lockdown breach. It doesn't look like Lewis Campos is on his way to Tottenham. And Jan Vertonghen could be on his way to Spain. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Wednesday, the 20th of May. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the reports and all of the rumours from the last 24 hours. So let's start the video by talking about an official announcement from Tottenham Hotspur Football Club this afternoon. And it stated, given that unfortunately, but understandably, supporters will not be able to attend any remaining matches for the 2019-2020 Premier League season, we should like to provide an update in respect of our five remaining home matches. Any credits held on ticketing accounts and renewals for the 2020-2021 season. The announcement then goes on to read, for the final five home fixtures, we shall issue a pro rata credit to all season ticket holders and 1882 members. Um, it then goes on to say, these funds can be applied against your 2020-2021 season ticket. You do not need to do anything. Your seat will be secured and we will contact you in due course about completing your renewal. Any season ticket holder who wishes to request a refund instead of having this credit set against next season's season ticket will be able to do so. Details of how to request this refund will be emailed to all season ticket holders. It then goes on to say that fans can now change seats for the 2020-2021 season. It says, additionally, now that we have had a year at the new stadium and as we look forward to next season, we are keen that fans have the opportunity to change seats should they wish to do so. And we shall use the time now available to plan possible moves. I haven't read the whole of the, uh, the statement released by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club because it is far too long. But if you do want any more information, you do want to read the whole article, please do click on the link below in the comments section and the description box. Um, right at the bottom of the statement, it does say, we share fans' disappointment that they will not be present for our remaining matches. The safety of players, staff and fans is of paramount importance and we shall be working with all concerned as we seek to play the remaining matches when it is safe and appropriate to do so and we will communicate further details in due course. I report out earlier today from the Metro newspaper, but to be honest, this story is absolutely everywhere right now. Um, it says Serge Aurier has defended himself after breaking lockdown rules for a third time during the coronavirus pandemic. The Tottenham defender has already been warned by his club after he was twice caught working out of a park with a partner. One such training session was with teammate Musa Sissoko and the pair made a donation to the National Health Service after apologising for breaching lockdown rules. But Aurier has landed himself in hot water again after visiting his barber to have a haircut and posting pictures on Instagram. This was one of the pictures that he posted. Tottenham defender Serge Aurier then posted this message on Instagram. My hairdresser is negative and me too. So stop talking in a vacuum and put on your masks and gloves when you come to take pictures at the training centre. It's part of the rules too. Lockdown rules have been relaxed to allow one person from each household to meet up, but only if they follow strict social distancing protocols. Serge Aurier, along with the rest of the Tottenham squad, were tested for COVID-19 on Tuesday and took to social media to defend himself and hit out at his critics. 
The article from the Metro then says the London club said that they would deal with Aurier appropriately and the player could now face a fine. Tottenham were looking to offload Aurier this summer before the coronavirus pandemic forced football to go into shutdown. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Would you keep Serge Aurier for the 2020-2021 season or would you let him go this summer? Lots of media speculation all about Lewis Campos, who is the current director of football at French club Lille. Well, he has asked to leave the club and now there is speculation that he wants to join Tottenham and be reunited with Tottenham manager Jose Mourinho. Yesterday, it was reported in the Daily Telegraph stating that there is no offer on the table from Tottenham. Well, there is another media report out in France today, this time from L'Equipe, and they have stated that Lewis Campos wants to leave Lille but it's not because he wants to join another football club it is purely because he is unhappy there In the last couple of days, there has been lots of media reports out about Tottenham interested in out-of-contract player Ryan Fraser from Bournemouth. Um, but a report has come out today from the Daily Express and the heading reads, Crystal Palace look to beat Tottenham to Ryan Fraser transfer as Jose Mourinho is unconvinced. Um, an exclusive article says Crystal Palace boss Roy Hodgson is desperate to bring in the Bournemouth winger to Selhurst Park on a free transfer. Crystal Palace are ready to rival Tottenham in the chase for Ryan Fraser. Bournemouth's Scotland winger has become one of the most sought-after players in the Premier League in this bizarre season. It then goes on to say that Fraser himself favours a move to Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, but manager Jose Mourinho is not convinced of the Scots' pedigree for a top-six club, and an interest from Arsenal has now called. As I said at the start of the video, today is the 20th of May and on this day in 1967, 53 years ago, Tottenham beat Chelsea 2-1 at Wembley Stadium in the FA Cup final. Now, the Tottenham team that day was Pat Jennings, Joe Kinnear, Cyril Knowles, Alan Mullery, Mike England, Dave Mackay as Tottenham captain, Jimmy Robertson, Jimmy Greaves, Alan Gilzean, Terry Venables and Frank Soul. Our substitute that day was Cliff Jones, managed by Bill Nicholson, and our goals come from Jimmy Robertson and Frank Soul. Now, let me know in the comments section below, are you old enough to remember this day? Were you at Wembley Stadium celebrating Tottenham's glorious win? Lots of the Tottenham Hotspur players were back at Hotspur Way yesterday in small groups, training away ahead of these nine Premier League games that we do have left for the 2019-2020 season. That is if they definitely do go ahead. But more Tottenham players have been arriving at Hotspur Way today. These pictures were taken earlier today. A report out today from the Daily Star and they are stating that Spanish club Real Betis are now considering a move for Tottenham defender Jan Vertonghen, who of course is out of contract at Spurs this summer. Now with the coronavirus pandemic going on, um, with Tottenham not knowing how much money, if any money is going to be spent this summer, would Tottenham be in a better position now to offer Jan Vertonghen a one-year deal? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Jan Vertonghen to stay for another year or Jan Vertonghen to leave on a free transfer this summer? Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do remember to put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything that I've spoken about during today's video. And if you don't subscribe to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. We are very close now to 35,500 subscribers. So thank you to everybody who watches this channel on a regular basis. Stay safe and well. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Tottenham news. Come on, you Spurs.
So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I've been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.